Hey y'all, I, Rick Sky here. Now you may have already seen my unboxing video, but what I wanted to do within this video, and by the way, the audio is being captured with this microphone right now, the Blue Yeti. Uh, this is the blackout edition. It's strictly the, uh, the color of the, uh, of the microphone. You can check the link within this video's description. It comes in silver, platinum, and I think the blackout, and there, and there may be another color too. That's purely cosmetic. I got the blackout because I thought it looked uh, it looked really cool. But what I want you to experience within this video, and we're going to talk more about the uh, about the microphone in more detail. Right now, it's in the what's referred to as cardioid, cardioid, C A R D I O I D, which they indicated that the cardio cardioid mode is optimal for podcasting, voiceovers, vocal instruments and that's what I'm doing right now is essentially a podcast because I'm uh, I'm sitting in front of my microphone at my desk here and I'm and I'm doing this but I'm going to kind of move my head back and forth as I'm as I'm on this show just so you can see the audio how high of quality this uh, this microphone is I mean you know typically when you're doing a podcast or something like I am now you may move around a little bit. You may move around to grab a box, or you may move around to grab a uh, big Maine Coon cat, Sean Coonery, uh, quite possibly the most famous cat in the world. So you can see how well the audio handled that just then. And again, I'm in the cardioid mode, but you also get other modes, and there's a knob on the back of this Blue Yeti that you can change, and there's four different settings. You can do bi-directional, which it says that's for interviews, instruments, vocal duets. And then there's omnidirectional, conference calls, field recordings, events, and orchestras. And then the cardioid, which is what I'm doing right now. It's podcast, voiceovers, vocals, instruments. And then there's stereo, which is for vocals, ensemble, choir, and instruments. So I'll probably be using the cardioid mode most all of the time because that's that's where I'm right in front of it and I'm doing a talk show. If I'm out in the field, I'm probably going to be using my Rode lavalier mic or my stereo mic, Sony uh, stereo video mic that's on top of my um, the camcorder I'm using right now, the Sony FDR AX100 4K camcorder. Now if you hear something right now, it's Sean Coonery rubbing up against the mic. Sean Coonery, we're doing a mic test. You need to move. Okay, so he's going to step away for a minute. Let's go over the features of this mic. And again, check the link within this video's description. You can find the link to order it, as well as more videos and photos. I've thoroughly uh, photographed this mic so you can see it from all angles and, and a lot of stuff you won't get within this review video. On the front of it right here, it's got a mute button, which is super nice because you can, uh, when you're recording, it's solid red. And when you push it to mute, it's, it starts to flash, so you know it's muted. There's a volume control for microphones, or not microphones, but for headphones. So in my case, if I'm doing a Google Hangouts on the air, I can use these, uh, these earbuds that came with my iPhone 6 Plus, plug them into the bottom of the mic. The bottom of the mic has a, uh, has a connector where you could screw it into like a it would come off this hard base, but you could screw it into like a boom or, or something along those lines. And then on the back, there's two knobs, and as I mentioned earlier, there's the polar pattern selector, which is where you can choose stereo, cardioid, omni, or bidirectional. And then there's a mic gain control. And then on the bottom, you've got your USB. This is connected to my MacBook Air right now by way of USB. And it's bus powered, which is great, which means it's receiving the power from your computer by way of USB port. So you don't have to deal with uh, you don't have to deal with a secondary power cable. Just plug it into your laptop or your desktop and go, and, and you're good to go. And that's that's about uh, that's that's it at a high level. I mean, I was just looking at the box right here. It came in, but I mean, the quality speaks for itself. You can hear this. This entire video was, uh, the audio was captured with this Blue Yeti. And on my Mac right now, I'm simply using 
quick time player and I'm recording audio in that and then I'm going to uh, before I publish this video I'm going to take that quick time audio and dump it on my desktop computer and do the uh, do the audio replace within Final Cut Pro 10 so I'm going to uh, I'm going to replace the camcorder audio with this audio that you hear that you're hearing right now. So just a really good mic, and again the the build quality of this thing is exceptional. It's, it's super heavy. It's metal. The bass, the mic itself, it's all. I think the little knobs that you screw in to uh, uh, to attach it to the bass, I think they may be plastic, but other than that, it seems like pretty much all metal construction. Super super heavy. And you can see the size of this because my MacBook right now, I've got the screen open. This is the 13.3 inch MacBook Air. And you can see how massive this is. It just towers above the MacBook Air. So definitely a larger mic, uh, something that you may want to use in a studio versus, and again, if, if you want to take it out in the field, that's great because it'll capture with these multiple audio modes. It could be really nice out in a... Uh, in an outdoor environment to capture audio but for my purposes it's becoming my studio microphone and tell me what you think I think it sounds great but again check the link within this video's description you can find all the still photos I posted uh, that I've snapped and posted as well as a link to order it online and again there's there's different colors of this this is the Yeti they call it the Yeti blackout the Yeti blackout edition but you can get it in other colors too. Performance wise, exactly the same, just a different appearance when it's sitting on your desk. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, youtube.com forward slash guy, and share this video and any of my videos with others. Y'all have a good day.